This is the time on Plus TV Africa. Welcome to another very interesting episode as we analyze some of the biggest entertainment stories. And of course, my name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Yes, that's me. What's up? Hello. How you doing? Well, I love your vibe this morning. I like the lashes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you need to you have to go there. Yes, I'm back <laughs> with the lashes. My eyes are not swell <laughs> Oh, that. Yeah. You know, I was trying to figure it out. Mm. <laughs> so, how was the weekend? It was good. Mm. Rained a lot. No, I wasn't really feeling that rain. It was a bit too much. Was it? it was oh, amazing. I think on the mainland it was a lot. It wasn't stopping. Yeah. For hours and hours. I think and it was the same out here too. They stopped mm, a bit. Like it wasn't that serious yeah. as the mainland because I was oh, there at I some loved point. every bit of the rain. Though. Oh, cool. Um, okay, so um, let's get right into it. The band sues um, his accuser for 1.5 billion naira. Says he has always respected and honored women and of course he's um, blaming feminists that they are not doing their research mm. properly and if they did and let's uh, let this is his word so if they did and let go of greed and um, wanting to get international Funny. recognition mm. that they will understand the truth also he called out is he calling out now he, he told in a tweet he told um popular activist and legal practitioner um shegun awoson a popular known as sega link to name names and speak to him directly. But mm. then we have Sega with us this morning. Hi, Sega. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good morning. Um, how would you react to this um, tweet from Sega, um, from Debanch himself? I don't know. What do we make of the whole drama and um, people twisting your words as well? Thank you very much. You know, I, that's a territory that I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, how would I put it, I'm not new to. You know, it has been happening for years. And, you know, once something happens in our society and people don't find their sentiments being massaged, you know, they are going to throw tantrums. And you don't necessarily have to um, react to that. If you know if there's anything anyone knows about my operation or my uh, self, my being, my policy and philosophy, it is that I don't react, I respond to issues. And um, I believe that our society has been plunged into a lot of uh, decadence to the point where we need just not be throwing tantrums all the time, but taking action as active citizens, which is one of the reasons why the, our approach to um, advocacy, I am not an activist as such, I'm more or less an advocate, you know, and there are two different things. And, Activists only throw tantrums and expect things to change because they have shared their emotions. While an advocate understands the rule of the game, understands uh, the rules of engagement, understands the extant laws that guides the actions that need to be taken. In this particular case, when uh, you have people calling you from here and there on issues, you know, most of the time when people do things like this, they're just seeking people to support their emotion or to say the things they want to hear. And that is not my, that, that has never been my position. Um, I also understand the fact that the conscious, intellig intelligent manipulations of organized opinions and habits of the masses is an important element in every democracy. Okay, hi, hi, what is so out we, here because we has don't want nothing... this conversation to go so long and people don't really get the points. What do you know about um, the engagement of the NGO with Sheito and why does it seem like people are now beginning to drag the feminists and taking attention away from the fact that, or maybe the allegation of rape, not a fact right now, the allegation of rape. What exactly has this set of women done wrong that is making us move the conversation left and right? Basically, I've said this and, I've, and I'll repeat it again. Mm -hmm. Myself and my organization, Social Intervention Advocacy Foundation, standing in institutional gaps, bridging institutional gaps in Nigeria, you know, will not uh, be seen to discourage the activist will of certain elements that have tagged themselves uh, feminist, you know, in our society, from helping people in need of urgent intervention. But they must, uh, if you observe what is happening in this particular case, the emotion of the engagement with principal elements that need to be contacted in case of any allegation was omitted. And this calls for the strongest calls, for the strongest call for a total revamp of the sexual assault uh, referral centers uh, processing 
in this country. Because public trial by media really shouldn't be Nigeria's only pivot of investigation and relief. There are certain um, positions that every party have taken. Some have decided to seek redress by the law, which is supposed to be what ought to happen. If anyone wants to go to court, let them go to court. If anyone feels that this situation is too messy for me to get into or to delve into, whatever thing that they want to do, they should do. I believe that as scientists, or if a scientist have a result in mind, and you go into an experiment, you are definitely going to have a biased situation there. That experiment will never be credible. But in this situation where people have actually deemed people guilty, people have actually decided to exploit a situation of another for their own personal gain, then I believe that that is not something that we as an organization or personally as, as a person will endorse. I'm not really it's just like me saying, hello? Sorry to interrupt. I'm not really sure where you're going with that because it seems like you're saying you don't have an issue with feminists trying to adv uh, activate or because you you don't like the word activism and you prefer advocacy. But you 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 are saying there are two that different things actually. Okay. They are activists basically from their operations potato, and from the potato, things potato, they are potato, doing. Potato, I'm just that's simply the saying. Mm, the qu but you said now that. Um, you know, you, you want to try and avoid that space. If they want to go to court, they should go to court. If they want to settle, I make it be, they should settle, I make it be. And there's not really that has been my position for from social one. media. But I would say that you but do the was... exact same thing because you advocate, you have an actual organization that you advocate for, but you still come to social media to tell us your details and your findings. The things, so I'm not yeah, sure what I if do you're going to call feminism the COVID, I also think that you also have your COVID. But my question really is, um, you mentioned, uh, it feels like your stance has sw has moved a little bit, you know, at first it sounded it like, you know, you were moved. calling it the feminists the understanding that is witches, moving. and that, you when know, you invite someone to speak on your panel, but then you also me, then um, came out to say, Madam, Madam, when you invite someone to speak, please kindly let them speak. If you want to speak for me while I'm here, I, I don't think I need to be here. If you want me to answer your question, please be specific with what you have. If you have anything you want me to corroborate, then you put it out there. I'm but let me there. speak. I'm getting there, Segaling. I'm just, let I'm, me speak. I'm getting there. I have to be able to write. What I'm know, saying is very clear. What I'm saying, question. listen, what I'm saying is very clear. Okay. I support activism. In as much I know that that doesn't end, it shouldn't end there. We need to move forward to say, these are what, these are the right things to do. These are the right steps to take when things like this are happening. This is not the first issue that we're going to trash out. And our social media <clears throat> engagement on ongoing cases or cases that need to go to court is not in the you are guilty you are a demon you are this you are that no yeah. you are not demonizing anyone you're only presenting the issues before the public to show that this is what we are doing this is what we are looking at because this is what we stand for but, but when it begins react, to get personal yeah. when it begins to become the institutionalization of you know hatred against other people when it begins it begins to show political interest in terms of, what I mean by political interest, identity politics of hate, which begins to demonize certain people what, what, what or begins to say, discredit certain that people. That's just how it's, social it's, media, don't you just say that that's how social media works? Just because we No, that's not how social media social, works. Um, because, I've been because on social media for over 10 years. Social media this doesn't is not mean how that it works. Guilty. It's Hello, just, Sagaling. you know, social I, media. I want to believe No, that. please. Let's, let's be very objective and okay. let's not bring emotions into this. This is, this is This has nothing to do with any one of us here. It is somebody else's name and family has right. been dragged in the mud there. If indeed we have the interest of the person involved at heart in terms of the lady, there are ways in which we go about this. We don't use I lies to prosecute like, anything. That That's one of the reasons why we fight police. I if a police is prosecuting crime and he breaks the law in the process, you have lost that particular case, period. Okay. And that's what we were saying, do the right thing. All right, Sega, I believe that um, in cases like this, mental space is, um, mental health is very important. And um, your thinking, your ability to think clearly when you're making such decisions is very important, which you actually made very, exactly my point. very clear in your tweets. And um, you believe that she should have been well cleared about what exactly she wanted. She's specific about her prayers and all of she that. She was very clear about what she wanted. Yes. Yeah, so this are you from that forever been from that, that my question would just be that um do you think that she's being influenced wrongly, not just by the feminist movement, also by the lawyers who are representing her and all the other NGOs. So do you feel like their influence is not making her think straight on this matter? The truth about the matter is this 
if you trace the truth, if you follow the truth, I don't want to speak to the material essence of the case, which is not my business, yeah. you know, which is not what we need to do on media. But the truth is, if two people have grievances between themselves, or there's a conflict, or there's an issue, there's an allegation, allegations remain what they are. We can only say things that we have found out. We have seen a lot of cases like this happen before. And they almost, this same set of people, this same set of mindset almost ruined that case as at that time. If not for strong interventions that actually ensure that the case was not derailed. Mm. They are at it again this time around. But this time around, it was far more belligerent to the point where they are beginning to make it look like it is a war against men kind of thing. Yeah. And then they are beginning to go under undercover to start blackmailing people and start insinuating stuff. Somebody that you claim to be helping is saying, this is my position. And then you are assuming, oh, this position you have taken must have been influenced by certain individuals. Then you started attacking individuals. Mm. Why will you come and attack me based on what do you want me to do? Mm. Do, I, do you want me to tell her what to do or how to do? If somebody tells you this is what I no, Jesus Christ never healed anybody who doesn't want to be healed. So what would be your best You would not advice? say, no, you must see. You must see today. No, it doesn't happen that way. If the person says, this is what I want, it is in your own best interest. If you really want our best interest at, in your heart, to say, well, it, this is our, what our organization can offer you. All right, so what would I be I wish advice, you all the best in this other position. What would be your advice to Shaitan right now with the old 1.5? My advice to Shaitan has been given to Shaitan and Shaitan's family. I don't okay. need to come on the media um, to say but that. But very quickly, and my advice has always been, that. My advice has always been that whatever position that they have chosen to take, whether they want to litigate, whether they want to settle amicably, mm. they have my support. Forever. Okay, um, Frank, that before already. you go, I want to find out, are you in communication with the organization called STER that stands to end rape in this um, situation? In communication, how? Are you, you working with them to at least get justice or you are, you are watching? They don't, they don't, I don't, have you ever seen a tree that plants that grows in seed and runs in traffic to hawk it to people who are in motion? It doesn't mm. happen that way. Mm. If the organization needs anything that, that they need us to solve for them or do for them, they will reach out to us. And I don't think they need our help because that has not happened. Oh, I nice. don't see myself running up and down to seek people's, uh, to offer any service to people. You okay. have thank, to come. Thank you and if you don't come, time. you do whatever it is you want to do. Yeah, but nobody can blackmail, emotionally blackmail anybody to, to do whatever, they, to do their biddings. It's not done. And that is witchcraft. You Thank don't you, Sega, people. for your time. Thank you for your opinions Thank you. as well. Thank you so much, Sega. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss.